Hey guys, Evan Miranda here. Today we're going to cover something that I refer to as cool guy shooting. I don't really know what the term of it is. It's just something that I've noticed on YouTube where people, um, they have, you know, really stylized herky-jerky movements and they get their gun out there and they throw the gun out there and they go. And then they're like, yeah, and they immediately retract it and they go right, they go left and they throw it back into their holster. Bam! And they're done. Well, congratulations. You're basically saying, I am 100% in everything that I do, and I have disregarded the fact that this cockroach could have another cockroach buddy of his, or one over here. And by doing this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish, I'm going to throw up my holster, because I just put my thing down. The problem with that is, remember, we fight as we train. And if you're training to assume that every time you pull the trigger, awesomeness flows forth from your muzzle, you're going to do this in a real fight. There's enough body cam footage, dashboard cam footage, and security camera footage to prove that this is happening. Civilians, law enforcement, this kind of foolishness is happening. In the training environment, this is a major sticking issue. In fact, this right here will slow the line down more than a 1911. But I'm bum Yeah, I'm capping on those of you that are 1911 shooters. Trust me, bring your 1911 out to training, you're going to find out how not good of a gun that is unless of course you're talking wilson combat and then absolutely yeah but um anyways I, I i digress cool guy shooting is a major problem and you really want to erase it the way this kind of thing needs to be done is it's shoot realize that okay the guy has gone down which is why i like shooting reactive uh, targets that actually fall over but from the standpoint of a training environment where you have students on the line and it's Repetition after repetition after repetition. You can't have students going in front of the line constantly picking up their targets. So for drills like this, you fire your set, and then you say to the person, follow the target to the ground. Here it is, take a breath, retract the weapon, look right, look left. If the drill called for it, you would then shoot this guy. The range that I work on here, we can also shoot in this direction if we need to. Uh, which I'm not going to do at the moment, but um, we can move in multiple directions. And once you're done, once you feel secure, then you can put the gun away. And yes, absolutely, look that gun into the holster. There are people who completely disagree with me on that, and I don't really care. I don't really need to hear from you. Um, there's too much vasculature down here to be lackadaisical about putting your gun back into the holster without looking. Um, cool guy shooting is a problem guys erase it do yourself a favor because if you can erase it you're more focused for learning and training efficiently remember guys like you've heard me say realize your potential realize your potential means realize that you've got a lot of potential and also realize means to attain to grasp your potential realize your potential